everyone. This video is for Dr. Hart and or anybody who's having trouble on their takeaway where they flip the club head inside, okay? So there's a path that the hands follow in the swing and there's also a path that the club head follows. And that they have to be in proportion to one another. And if you get the club head too far inside, it's deep enough behind your swing before your hands have a chance to set themselves. So the solution is very simple. What I want you to do, I want you to get something as easy as a Band-Aid. I want you to put it on your, in your anti-cubital space of your elbow. That's the inner part of your elbow, okay? You can even mark it with a green dot as I have here. When you take the club away, you want to be able to see that green dot, whether you're looking down at it or you're looking in a mirror. And what you want to do is you want to be able to see that Band-Aid or that space until the club reaches parallel to the ground as it has here, and then you can fold your right arm and let the club lift to the top. By that point, you have the rotation of the form that you're not gonna see it anymore. From down the line, it will look something like this. As I look down, I can see the Band-Aid and the dot. As I take it away, if I still see it, you'll notice that the club head is outside of my hands, meaning it's this way, not this way. Okay, so the club head stays outside my hands. As soon as it reaches parallel to the ground, it covers my hands. And as I continue the top of the swing, my hands and arms fold, and I'm in great position at the top. As opposed to if you roll it in too soon, if I can't see that Band-Aid, and you probably can't see it either, the club head is well inside your hands. You have a, a greater potential to lose your shoulder angles, your spine angle, and everything else. So give that a shot. It's as easy as getting a Band-Aid, putting a green dot on it, or a black dot, or whatever color you want, making sure that you can see that as you look down, at least until the club head reaches parallel, and then let your arms fold to the top as you continue to turn. Give that a shot, and I think your ball striking is going to get a heck of a lot better.